been here the whole time watching over the case waiting to see what Miss Teresa gonna do what kind of moves she gonna make with this lawyer lawyer coming on the case and things like that I'm like okay you know it's time to step back a little bit and just kind of let's see how this thing go because there's enough information out to give the lawyer plenty of ideas of which direction to go with the case so you know that's that's the main reason why I pulled back and it's cool that everybody is still doing their thing keeping the case alive letting Miss Teresa and the lawyers know hey we ain't forget we still here that's cool I can appreciate that you know uh, concern person of the case I can appreciate that and it's still a lot of crazy stuff going on with the case as far as the information coming out right so let's go into that let's go into this new thing that miss Teresa got well there's nothing new I don't see any real information coming up out of the picture that she showed of Kanika just laying up from what she was saying you know and what other people are saying that it could have been evidence inside the hair and she never got the hair or the police never got the hair or whatever the case may be granted I feel you on that alright but when it comes to the information as far as you know discovering the fact that she was beat up and uh, you know lips swole and you know face got marks on their stuff we've been seeing that we saw that in the freezer alright that picture didn't confirm it we saw that already in the freezer it's just people failed to realize that that was an actual person that was Kanika laying on that fucking freezer float a lot of people were still listening to bullshit the neck situation why they won't show the neck again that picture did not determine or confirm any injuries to her neck you know in the freezer look at how they had her laying down at first they, they say they found no face down right on the side face down right but then when you turned over you made sure her hair covered her neck area we already seen that when they put on the gurney when they pulled out of the freezer they made sure the neck area was covered so we already know it had to be something going on with the neck for them to keep covering it like that especially in the freezer when they deliberately like they intentionally made sure her hair was covered over her neck when they flipped her over to take a picture of her face they made sure the hair was over the neck we already seen that so this so-called new picture that Miss Teresa brought up did not confirm anything that we already knew. But my thing is this. What y'all fail to realize is that Miss Teresa has so much evidence of other things that she's not going to show and the reason why that she showed this one I feel the reason why she showed this picture is simply because someone tricked her to do it this is how Miss Teresa operates she get mad at something somebody say and she bring out something and say well what about this She's been doing that the whole case. I don't see how y'all don't, don't see that. She's been doing that the whole case. Somebody pissed her off. I'm not saying this to offend anybody. I'm not saying this to, to drag her name or anything like that. This is nothing to drag anybody's name. When she get tricked and pissed off. When she 
bring out something that she's been holding for the longest. We already know that she got a lot of things that we ain't seen. She got way more pictures than that. She got a lot more shit than that. Alright? But we can only go with what we have. And that's what I've been telling y'all for the whole time in this case. We can only go with what we have. Right? There's no point in making up anything. Why is it that Mecca has proven over and over, time and time again, that the footage that we were given had deleted footage and all of it? There was deleted footage and all of it. Especially in the kitchen areas. Especially in the management areas. There were deleted footage. Why did Mecca prove that time and time again? And yet, no lawyer has tried to duplicate his findings and use that in the court of law. This is me proving that footage is was deleted y'all it's a major breakthrough for the good guys we well what's the happen is it's a skip to the next action and then i should be able to pause and play it right that's how that player works and i'm gonna break down something i learned or figured out right by doing this so it skips all the way to 411 and if i press pause and play again we should see some action let's see if we see it we don't it skipped again to 12:32. so i'm gonna go on and say that that 411 got deleted and in this 12:32, let's see what it does i'm gonna pause it Play it again. Oh shit. Skip to 1701, 50 when the maintenance man came in. So that's two two actions got deleted. Another action. Now I done proved it. We done watched it like four times. We seen seen it in the other videos. You no, know, this is how this player works. So I'm gonna go to the time when Kanika was in his kitchen, right? Which was when she came around this, across this camera, it was around this time. This is the action for Kanika, 322.51. Y'all ready? I'm gonna play it, pause it, play it. They go to, they go to Queen, y'all. Right? She goes through. And it's supposed to skip. And this supposed to be action, right, y'all? 358, pause it, play it, oh shit, it skipped again, they deleted something y'all, at 358, you see what I'm saying? Because we really don't want to do real shit, to say hey, this is the evidence from the people that we want to duplicate and we want to use to represent the people still have a voice as long as we put our minds together and make it happen. But, you know. Let's look at the Johnson case. The young man was found in a gym mat at school. Now, a professional joined the fight and I, I think I showed him one, on one of my videos also when I was starting to do the forensic sessions. This is obviously Mr. DeBose with his left hand. Yes. Starting to pull the door shut. Would you agree with that? Correct. Thank you. Please do. 
Can you tell what he's doing with his right hand here as we progress forward? He's reaching toward the ignition. Right. So this is motion blur. Um, we can't know from this image. Let me interrupt for a minute. Yes, say this is motion blur. Yes. Is that caused by movement of the camera, movement of the car, movement of Tenzing's body? Can you tell? Yes. It's caused by movement of the camera, primarily. Um, partly movement of the body, but primarily movement of the camera. Okay. Go ahead. What, would you like me to go forward here again? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll go a professional analyst reviewed the footage and said out of his own mouth that's not supposed to be there that's not supposed to be there it's definitely something wrong with the footage they're not something that an investigator should rely on for the truth of the video uh, they've been altered in a number of ways primarily in image quality uh, and likely in dropped information information loss there are also a number of files that are corrupted because they've not been processed correctly and they're not playable. So um, I can't say why they were done that way, but they were not done correctly and they were not done um, thoroughly. So we're missing information. Frederick says that's likely due to how investigators acquired the surveillance video. Right now what they've done is they have left it up to the school district to define what it is they want to provide the police. And I think that probably is a mistake. According to Lowndes County Sheriff's Office incident reports, a detective watched a portion of the surveillance video the day Kendrick Johnson was found. Then he asked the school board's information technology worker for a copy of the surveillance video for the entire wing of the school with the old gym for the last 48 hours. Five days later, that IT worker provided a hard drive, and according to the incident report, the detective verified it contained the requested surveillance video. So the investigator's responsibility is to acquire the entire digital video recording system. And then have their, their staff define what they want to obtain. You don't want somebody who might be party to the responsibility to make the decision as to what they provide the police. You don't want somebody who might be party to the responsibility to make the decision as to what they provide the police. And after hours of analysis, Fredericks questions whether Lowndes County Schools provided all of the surveillance video from the old gym to investigators. There is a hole of time where none of the cameras um, provide any record that, that I've been provided. Fredericks has all the camera angles and all the video released by the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office. There are four cameras in the gym that records motion from when the lights turn on in the morning until when the lights are turned off at night except for the area of interest. The moments before Kendrick Johnson enters the gym. Look at what happens to the recordings from these four cameras in the gym. The time is recorded with the video. The first camera captures images from the start of the day until 12.04 p.m. Then nothing. It picks up again at 1.09 p.m. There's consistent surveillance from the second camera until 11.05 a.m., then it stops and picks up again more than two hours later at 1.15 p.m. The third camera also drops at 11.05 a.m. It picks up again at 1.16 p.m. And from the final camera, there's surveillance until 12.04 p.m., no recording for more than an hour, then it picks up again at 1.09 p.m. I would absolutely expect there to be some record of that activity and we don't have any here. Here's why Fredericks would have expected the motion activated system to record during that time. During that hour and five minutes, several students are seen walking into and out of the old gym from the surveillance camera just outside the gym door, 
We count seven male students, and three of them walk into the gym within three minutes prior to Kendrick Johnson walking in. I can't tell you whether there was um, uh, no information recorded in the digital video system, uh, or whether somebody made an error and didn't capture it, or whether somebody just didn't provide it. When surveillance in the gym resumes at 109, we see just these few frames of Kendrick Johnson running in the gym. Here's that moment from all of the cameras in the gym, although there's a record from only two, and the camera just outside the door. Notice, the hall camera timestamp appears to be 10 minutes behind, and there's no confirmation either time matches the exact time of day. It is the last time his image is captured on video. For the next hour, there are multiple gaps in the video surveillance in the gym. Do you believe it's a coincidence that that time period in the gym is missing? Oh boy. <laughs> Investigators are always suspicious and should be suspicious. And it's suspicious that that time period is not, not there. Um, so, yes, I, I would be suspicious. Uh, and until I have the digital video system in my hand, until I can say or an investigator can say everything is intact, this was what's recorded, I would still be highly suspicious of this. This is a professional analyst. He said out of his own mouth on the Johnson case, the footage is, is not supposed to be doing this. The time frame. You see what I'm saying? It's just, that's when we knew it was a cover-up. That's when we realized that it was those brothers that had something to do with the whole thing. Um, their parent, uh, the, the staff of the school. So, where did that case go? See, once I realized there's just too much evidence out there and, you know, it's basically the the case is over with, all you got to do is just take these few things right here and put them together and it's done, I leave it alone. We can't say that about the Kanika case because everybody is avoiding the obvious shit. You're dealing with monsters and it's time, you, if you don't know how to deal with the monster, then all you're doing is entertaining. And I know, you know, death is almost a prominent thing in Chicago, but you got to look at the people who died behind this case. Because I strongly feel, without this case, I don't know, I think Zeit still would have been living. That's my personal, you know. And that kind of stuck with me. I don't know, I, that, that kind of hit me hard because I, I was watching Zeit way before the Kanika case. And when Zach came in the case, I was like, oh shit, that's old boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but if he if don't if don't nobody else get no no answers, he will, you know what I'm saying? And just like that. After he was warned to stay away from the case. Just like that. So now the whole thing that I know Zach for way before the Kanika case. That's gone. You know what I'm saying? That's why I did that, the video that I did of him, you know, kind of running down everything, how he got started or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? That's gone. So we have to respect these kind of things. We have to respect those things and respect the people that's standing up to keep this thing alive. We have to.